Ben here with Passive Income Unlocked. As you start growing a site, you'll likely run into situations where you want to add something to all, your, all the posts on your site. But obviously, you don't want to have to go into each and every page to make that change. That's what I'm going to show you in this video. We're going to be using a free WordPress plugin called Ad Inserter, but in this case, we won't be using it to insert any ads. Instead, I'm going to show you how to use this plugin to add all sorts of things to the posts and pages on your site. For this video, I'll take you into the back end of my backyard life to show you how we use the Add Insert plugin on that site. Alright, so next we'll jump into the plugin, which you can get to by going over to Settings, then down to Add Inserter. When this opens up, it might look intimidating, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple to use. So you'll see that there are a bunch of tabs across the top, 16 of them to be exact. Each of these can be used to insert something different on your site, whether it's an ad or a disclaimer or whatever you want it to be. So first, let's start with the first tab here. If you look at the black box to see a bit of HTML, if you are unfamiliar with HTML, don't worry about it too much. Basically, we have a line of text and at the beginning and end of that text, we have tags that tell the web browser how to format that text for us. For example, there's a P tag at the beginning and ending, which basically says that all the text in between should be shown as a paragraph. Inside the P tag, you'll also see an I tag, which basically says that the text should be italicized. The text itself says, this post may contain affiliate links. If you click on the link and make a purchase, I may earn a commission. Also, as an Amazon associate, I earn qualifying purchases. I earn from qualifying purchases. This is the affiliate disclaimer we use on MyBackyardLife.com, which basically tells the visitors that there might be affiliate links in a post, and if they click on them and buy something, we might receive a commission. We use the Add Inserter plugin to put this disclaimer at the top of every post. Some people put this in their sidebar, footer, or on a separate page completely, but to be truly compliant with the regulations, we put it at the top of every post. Now if we look below the black box, we'll see a bunch of settings. These settings control where this disclaimer will show up on your website. We'll come back to the buttons in a minute, but below you'll see checkboxes for post, homepage, and so on. By checking one of these boxes, you are telling the plugin that you want whatever is in the black box to show up in that area of your site. For our disclaimer, we have post selected. Below that, you'll see a drop down menu next to the word insertion. This is how you tell the plugin the exact placement on the page for whatever is in the black box. As you can see, there's a ton of options here, like at the end of a post or after a certain number of paragraphs and so on. For the disclaimer, we have it set before content, which puts it right before the first paragraph within the post. To the right of the insertion option, you'll also have an option for alignment. This basically allows you to set your text to left align, right align, or post centered on the page. For most applications, everything that we walk through is all you'll need. With that being said, you can use the buttons below the black box to drill down quite a bit further if you want to. For example, if you click the list button, you'll see a bunch of options pop up. These options are basically different ways your content might be categorized. You can use this option to only show your disclaimer on posts in certain categories or a certain tag. Let's unclick lists and click on manual. This option basically gives you a few different ways to add your disclaimer to your post manually, like using a short code. So if you unclick manual and you click on devices, you'll basically see some options to show your disclaimer on certain types of devices, like mobile or desktop. If we unclick devices and click on miscellaneous, you'll see quite a few options that allow you to really fine tune when your disclaimer shows up. For example, you can tell the plugin to only show a disclaimer on pages with over a thousand words. Obviously, you don't want this with a disclaimer, but in other examples I'm about to get into, it might make more sense to do this. Lastly, if we unclick miscellaneous and click preview, sorry, it popped up on the other screen here, you'll see a preview of what your disclaimer will look like. Just keep in mind that the preview text will be placed between a couple of paragraphs, regardless of what setting you select, so it won't look 100% like it actually will on your site. Speaking of that, let me show you really quick what this disclaimer looks like on My Backyard Life. As you can see, it shows up right below our social share buttons and above the paragraph of the text. 
We italicize the text to make it clear that it isn't part of the article. We also add a line separator at the bottom of the disclaimer for that same reason. Now let's jump back to the add inserter and I'll show you some other ways you can use this plugin. As I mentioned earlier, you have 16 tabs here at the top. So I'm going to show you a couple other things you can do. If we go to tab number three, you're going to see an affiliate offer that we tested a while back. It's currently disabled, but we ran it for a while and we did get some affiliate commissions from it. Basically, we had this block of text set to show up at the very end of every post on My Backyard Life. By adding it to the bottom of the post, we tried to make it look like a natural extension of each post. We also limited this to only posts that were categorized on the site as grilling posts. This way, it was only being shown to people that were already looking at articles related to grilling. To give you an idea of how this looks, let's click on Preview. The text says, before you go, if you grill or smoke as much as I do, you'll want to take advantage of this great offer from ButcherBox. You'll get two New York strip steaks, six burgers, and five pounds of drumsticks for free in your first box. If you're not familiar with ButcherBox, they deliver high quality meats directly to your door each month. When it comes to quality, ButcherBox gives you 100% grass-fed beef, free-range chicken, and wild-caught fish. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you again soon. Again, this would show up right at the end of each post and look like it was just a continuation of the post. The link was obviously an affiliate link as well. If we go over to tab 4, this is another way that we currently are using this plugin. This is similar to the last example that I showed you in that it shows up right at the bottom of the post. However, we added a line break to make it clear that it's actually not part of the post. So you preview that real quick. This one says, if you want more backyard tips, including recipes, how to's and more, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Basically, this is a simple way to drive more subscriptions to your YouTube channel. The link takes you right to the subscription prompt. Jeff does something similar over at Passive Income Locked, but with an email opt-in form. Let's take a quick look at that. Go to any post, uh, let's do the first one here. We scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll see this right here. It's an opt-in form that says ready to take the next step. That's placed there the ad ins with the ad inserter plugin, and we have had really good conversions with it. If we scroll up a bit and take a look at the sidebar, you'll see an affiliate banner for rocket.net. That is also placed there with this, this uh, ad inserter. Oops, sorry, passed it right there. On one of our other sites, we use ad inserter to insert an image that advertised one of our digital products. When that image is clicked, it takes the visitor to the landing page for that product. It is a seasonal product that we only make available in the summer, but this is literally the only way we promote it right now, and it does lead to some sales. There's a ton of ways you can take advantage of this plugin. You just have to get creative. Despite being called Ad Inserter, you can use this plugin for a lot of things aside from inserting actual ads on your site. I showed you a few examples of what we do, but I'm sure there are plenty of other great ways to use this tool as well, if you get creative enough. Thanks for watching. Until the next one.